right, good morning. So we have our math lesson today is lesson 29. And you're going to find this on page 175 in your math book. So make sure to go get your math book and some paper. And I sent paper home with you and you should have extra because we're only going to do the even problems today. Um, so you should have some extra paper. All right, so our lesson today is multiplication facts. Zeros, ones, twos, and fives. All right, so we are doing multiplication facts. We're doing zeros, ones, twos, and fives. Give me a minute to write that down. You can always pause me too if you need some more time. All right, so we can begin by memorizing some basic multiplication facts. Um, in our lesson from yesterday, we talked about different properties of multiplication. The identity property, anything times one is itself. The property of zero, any number times zero is zero. And the commutative property just means you can switch the two factors and you'll get the same product. Um, so those are ones that we've learned. So, I'll, so one times three gonna equal three. Zero times five was gonna be zero. Now twos, two times a number is gonna be double. So I'll show you what I mean. So two times five is gonna be 10. 2 times 6 will be 12. 2 times 10 is going to be 20. All you're doing when you multiply by 2 is you're doubling the other number. Um, 2 times 8 is going to be 16. So anything times 2 is just doubling the number. So I'm going to write... So any number times two is double. That is all that is. Any number times two is gonna be double. All right, and then fives. So fives, we count by fives a lot. So fives, all it is is a number that's gonna end in zero or five. So five times three, 15. 5 times 4, 20. 5 times 5, 25. If you look at the digit in the ones place, it goes 5, 0, 5. Let's see, just for kicks and giggles. 5 times 6, ooh, it's 30. Any number times 5 is going to end in a 5 or 0. So any number. times five will end in a five or zero. Every time, any number times five will end in a five or zero. Um, we can say the multiples of five when counting by fives. However, counting is not a substitute for memorizing. These are facts we have to memorize, okay? Um, so any number times Five will end in a five or zero. And there's a pattern, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. It just keeps going. All right. So what you're doing today, lesson 29, you are going to do numbers one or two through 30, just the evens. And this is pages 176 to 178. Okay. So we got our zeros. Anything times zero is zero. Anything times